Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video to tell you that I made a very basic tessellation setup for URP. I've also converted that grass shader from the last video to work in URP, so if you were waiting for that, that is also linked down below. Also about a month ago, I ran a poll here to see what render pipeline everyone's using. And I have to say, I did not expect URP to be this high. I thought it was going to be built-in legacy at 50% and then maybe 40% URP and the rest 10. But yeah, I guess I should focus on URP tutorials then. <laughs> so back to the tessellation. What even is it? Um, so it's just a way to subdivide uh, the triangles in a mesh, but it happens on the GPU side. So the way it happens is a bit technical, but if you want to read about the process, there is this article by Cat Like Coding that explains it really well. I will link it in the description. Check out the other tutorials there too, it's a very good site. I couldn't find a basic tessellation shader for URP. There were some videos that showed it, but no source. And there was some source code, but that one had the vertex function before tessellation. So you couldn't deform the new tessellated geometry, which isn't very useful. So I made a version for myself and more importantly to share with you guys. Now here's what the tessellation looks like on a completely white plane. You can see it's adding a lot more geometry. You can choose how it subdivides. This is fractional odd, I think. Um, yeah, it says it right here under Unity Partitioning. Uh, there's a few other ones here if you want to try them out. Let's see, uh, Power of Two. This is a lot more evenly distributed, so if you want that, then go with Power of Two. Now, why would you even use this? Um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense for a flat plane like this. It doesn't have any features, but if you want to make something like clouds or snow or something, uh, if we add a noise texture here and then set the displacement amount, you can see that it made this pretty low poly flat plane into something a little more interesting. Of course, you don't want all of this subdivision to be active all the time, so I've added a camera distance uh, max tessellation to it, so if it's very far from the camera, it won't tessellate. You'll need two files to get the tessellation working. Um, this article is linked in the description, and if you go to the bottom, there is a very basic version of a URP shader here. And then there is this custom tessellation that basically does all the tessellation parts. They should both be in the same folder because the basic shader will look for the custom tessellation script. And then you will have the same material as I have here. You'll just have to set a noise texture and put up the displacement and the tessellation to see the same result. Now before I mention clouds, so let's see if we can quickly change it to look sort of flowing. Go down to where the noise texture is sampled. So let's do a basic um, same noise pasted over each other at a different scale and then uh, move it. So here we have the original noise and then again but smaller because the UVs are doubled. And then just add time to both of them. Make sure to multiply with the combined noise instead of just the original noise. And then we have to do the same thing in the fragment function. Only this time the input will be in instead of input and return combined noise. And now we have this uh, fast moving cloud like effect. This is just a basic setup to play with. Uh, for a more practical example, I'm working on a video for interactive snow right now. 
that also uses this tessellation as a base. Moving on to the second subject, I have converted the geometry grass from the previous video to URP as well, it's also linked below. I had already updated a comment on that video with a link to a shader, but I've made some improvements so please check out the new link. The shadows look better and there's support for additional lights now as well. The setup will be exactly the same as in the grass tool video, just use the URP shader instead of the legacy shader from the previous video. That's it from me for today, thanks for watching and have fun! If you want more tutorials, please check out my GitHub page. I've got tons of posts and articles about stylized 3D and effects in Unity there.